Hey guys, it's been a while since I've sat down and visited with you, but it's good to see you again. <laughs> I'll tell you so much good stuff is happening. Uh, I know you don't hear a lot of that out there, but I'm telling you what, uh, God is ruling reigning on planet Earth. Uh, and the church is His instrument by which He's moving and doing powerful, wonderful things today. You know, uh, back in the 70s, this book came out and said, Satan, is, the devil is alive and doing well on planet Earth. And I had a real problem with that. And couldn't read it for a while. The Holy Spirit wouldn't let me because, uh, well, it just took a while for me to process the fact that that wasn't the truth. Satan's a defeated foe. His kingdom of darkness is going down. Jesus uh, uh, has the keys of hell and death. So come on now. Who, who's, who's running this show? Who's in charge here? I know there's a lot of things happening out there, but I'm going to start spending a little more time with you and letting out a little good news here and there. You know, that's one of my major addictions is good news. <laughs> Everybody's addicted to something, so I choose to be addicted to good news. But I want to give you this scripture here that I meditate on the other day. It comes from Acts, the 10th chapter, verse 38. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, with power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Wow. You know, it talks about how it, it, it plainly says that Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit and with power. And what did he do? He went about, about doing good. You know what? You and I have that same anointing of the Holy Spirit. And we have an anointing to go about doing good. And you know, when we go about doing good, what's happening is we are dismantling, disabling, disqualifying all the works of darkness. We are taking apart the kingdom of darkness with the anointing that you and I have in us by, by who is the Holy Spirit. And we go about doing good. So some people are worried about doing big, great things. And a lot of good, great things are happening. But I'll tell you what, just your everyday living, going to work, going to school, visiting your neighbors, going to the store, whatever you're doing, bicycling or whatever, when you run into people and you share a good word and you give someone a hug or you encourage somebody, I'm telling you what, that is the anointing on you that is helping to advance the kingdom of God and is spreading the good news. Now, it says that he went about healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Now, if I read my book right, uh, he said, I will be with you. I will help you. I will never leave you. I will be with you through the end of the ages. God was with Jesus. Hey, God is with us. Every day, every moment, every circumstance, every situation. I tell you, whatever you're facing, God is right there with you, and you will get through it because Jesus is alive and doing well on planet Earth. And He's got a group of people called the church that He's working through. Now, one other scripture I want to give you before before. We, we close for this time is uh, 1 John 3 uh, oh here it is I had it marked it's the one where three uh, where here it is for this purpose the Son of God was manifested this is 1 John 3 8 for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that He might destroy the works of the devil. <laughs> Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. So you know what He did? He destroyed the works of the devil. It's, it's pretty simple, isn't it? He came. He accomplished His mission. He went to the cross redeemed us 
saved us by his blood. He went to hell, got the keys of hell and death, rose up. Now he's seated on the right hand of the Father on high, and we're his representatives, his ambassadors. And he destroyed the works of the devil. We are the mop-up crew. That's when we have that's why we have this anointing to go around doing good. We're just raking in all the spoils, advancing the kingdom of God, having a great time doing it, facing all of our adversities. I'm not saying we don't get through this without having some tests and trials and opposition, but we face it all with the same confidence that Jesus did, that God was with him and he was anointed to do good. So I just want to encourage you to keep up the good work. Jesus said in, uh, in his word in uh, Ephesians 2.10, Paul said, We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which he prepared beforehand that we should walk in. So we're just doing the works. We're anointed to do the works that he's already prepared for us to do. And they, they're anything from uh, giving a good word, an encouragement word to someone, like I said earlier, giving someone a hug, praying for them if they're sick, leading them to Jesus, of course, telling them about the good news. My wife and I were talking today earlier about how, uh, how simple it is to get saved. The Word says that if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, that we're saved. Now how much more complicated can, can it be? Pretty simple to me. I think that's why they call it the good news. So God bless you, and I'll have some good news for you later. Amen.